Hi everyone, so I'm back to do another video because I've been away for a week and when I got back I'd ordered three of the, now what are they called, swim and style dolls, because Very had them before Smith's did. So I ordered the three that Very had, which was these two and Skylar, they're $14.99, Smith's have got them now. And I think if I'm going to get the other two, I'm going to go to Smith's because I ordered three. I also ordered Skylar and one of her eyebrows is way higher than the other one. Ridiculous. And I thought, oh, they are only $14.99. And I thought, no, I'm sending it back. You know, it's, yeah. A anyway, these two look fine. I mean, they're probably not perfect, but they look fine. So I'm going to get Skylar, but I'm going to wait until I go to Smith's Toys and I might get the other one. What's the other one they do? The one with the lilac hair. I can't think of her name, but they do that one as well. So yeah, I'm, I might get the other two, but I'm gonna go to Smith's. I'm, I'm gonna, my Smith's Toys is, is near to an outlet that I sometimes go to. So I need to plan it that I want to go over there and then I'll go to Smith's Toys at the same time. It's about an hour away, so it's not a journey I do just to go to Smith's, Smith's Toys. So I'm not taking any more chances with ordering and I'm, and I'm not gonna order them from Smith's because I've had two or three dolls now that have um, had marks or whatever on their faces from, from Smith's. So the, you know, quality is an issue and it doesn't really matter whether they're these cheap dolls or they're the more expensive dolls. I've had to return many a Rainbow High doll, mainly because of marks on their face and not m minor marks either. I mean, this, I've put, put put her away now, but um, yeah, one eyebrow is, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I just looked at it and I thought, oh, great. So anyway, she's going back, but it does mean I've got these two to open. So my favourite by far when I opened her up is Sunny. Look at her. Sorry, it's a bit of a reflection. I'm doing this in the evening. So it's a bit of a reflection off my light there. Oh, that's better. Look at her. So I'm going to open her up for you. Get my scissors out. So, yeah, I've been away. Well, I've been away for five days. Went to Centre Parks with my daughter, as I said on a previous video. And I got, yeah, got back today. So I lost my mum on Christmas Day that I think I've mentioned before. I got a bit upset about it, I think. So I haven't really spoken about it since. But, yeah, I did, did lose my mum on Christmas Day. And her funeral's on Thursday. The, yeah, this coming Thursday. So, yeah, I'm back to work tomorrow. I'm working Saturday and Monday. And then I've got the rest of the week off because I've got my mum's funeral on Thursday. But I do feel I'm not as emotional as I was. Right, so I've got her out of the box. Their swimming costumes are amazing. I did notice that Skylar's swimming costume was lovely. Skylar's was actually strapless blue. But as I say, she's going back. But look at her face. So these dolls are $14.99. Now they haven't got the hands that come on and off. Their elbows are not articulated like the other Rainbow High dolls elbows are. Their feet are not articulated, excuse me, like the other Rainbow High dolls are. So they are a more basic doll. Do you know what I like about her? I think she's, I don't think she's quite as skinny as the other dolls. She's a bit fuller, I think, which I love. But I saw that face and I thought, wow. Well. Now, even though they're only $14.99, now obviously their articulation is not great. They are only $14.99 and they do come with a second outfit for the beach including shoes so they are good aren't they they're they're a good price so let's open her up i love sunny anyway sorry i'm not filming during the day but i wanted to open these and i wanted you to share me opening them I don't know whether I'll open both of them. I might open Ruby on a separate video, but I'm going to do Sunny 
as Sunny is my favourite. And as I say, Skylar will go back and I will be going over to the actual shop, Smith's Toys shop, to pick out my... Oh, it's it's um, Violet, isn't it? Is it Vi Violet Willow is the other one, yeah. Because I do definitely want Skylar. I'm not positive I want Violet, but I, I do want Skylar. Skylar's one of my favourite dolls anyway. I love her. So... So they've got all the normal bits to snip off. They haven't left out any of the little bits of plastic that you have to cut. They haven't made it any easier to get them out. Struggling to see here, actually. Right, so. Oh. So it looks like her hair is short at the front and long at the back. I actually think she'd really suit it with it with a bob all the way around, actually. But that's not what her hair is like. Right, so I think... Oh, she's even got a bit of plastic under her bust. Right, so I wonder how many are... I wonder how many plastic things are attaching her hair say what I always say go really careful and you know what I've just proved my own point there I've said go really careful when you're snipping the head out and I have shown you there exactly what can happen I have snipped off a whole piece of her hair and I think it's because the light in this room isn't great now i hope i'm hoping it won't look too bad looking at her it doesn't look as if she's as well rooted as normal hair a rainbow high dolls so i'm going to pull the other one out because i oh, i don't know i was going to pull the other one out but yeah so i've just literally done the other thing you can do with these is instead of doing it with scissors like i'm doing it do you know they've got her head in three times now normal rainbow high dolls don't have that they have one or two but i head in three times i've already cut a bit of hair off i certainly don't want to cut any more off it actually doesn't show at all where i've cut her hair so that's good so what i do is i just cut them and then i push them in i push the spiky bits back into their head but yeah i just literally did what I tell. Oh, I'll tell you something marvellous about these dolls. They don't come with combs. Hallelujah. I've got about 300 combs here. I'm just going to comb her hair because I know I did snip a bit of her hair off and I just want to see whether you can see it. But yeah, I've basically proved my own point there, haven't I, about how you must be careful. I've never done it before, but I did it then. I snipped a bit of her hair off. Right, so... As far as product goes, she has hardly any in the back of her hair, maybe a bit underneath, but all this is lovely and smooth. Look at that hair. It's amazing. Look at the colour. It's so soft. I did wonder whether they would be less rooted, but as far as I can see, they are really well rooted, as all Rainbow High dolls are pretty well rooted, aren't they? Yeah, I love her hair. The quality of the hair, I'm just touching another Rainbow High doll, does feel very similar to the more expensive Rainbow High dolls. Now, I've heard rumours, and I don't know whether this is true, I've heard rumours that they're discontinuing Shadow High. And then I heard another rumour that, well, if they're discontinuing Shadow High, then they're going to discontinue Rainbow High completely. I'd heard these rumours on online. I mean, they're still bringing out new dolls, so. But yeah, that's a rumour that's going round. What's she got in her hair there? So the hair that has got product in are these bits which I just might leave because it's not too bad. But I don't know whether you can see this sort of like white lumps in it. And I think that is basically product. Yeah. But I might leave that because it hasn't got too much product in it. 
it's actually coming out as sort of white white pieces the product is yeah the, the the quality i don't think is as good because the product is actually coming out in can you see it there's actually white clumps in her hair which is the product which makes me think i might have to actually wash those bits which is a shame because i didn't intend to wash them and i don't want to wash her fringe because her fringe is laying nice and flat isn't it which is what we all want i might just leave her as she is but yeah there's bits of product in the hair it's like white it's almost like bits of dandruff yeah i don't know if that's anything to do with the quality I've, i think it might be because i've never found that it's even in there as well look there's little white bits can you see them yeah but you know it's fine so let me just lift her fringe up a minute her eyebrows are even so i'm going to put her fringe down and leave it down i don't want to mess about with her fringe because sometimes you get a a girl with a fringe and the fringe is sticking out all over the place so the fact that it's flat is really good so this is sunny and sunny has hmm I'm trying to see the colour of her eyes. They're almost like a yellowy green, aren't they? So she's got lovely eyelashes. She's got... She's got some lilac eyeshadow on. She's got lovely orangey red lips. You can just see her white teeth there. Her lashes are really long, aren't they? As I say, her eyebrows are good. She's very, very tanned and she's got some lovely blush on her cheeks so she hasn't got earrings but her ears are in fact pierced so if you've got other rainbow high earrings like me then you can put the earrings in so that's good that she's got pierced ears isn't it so her head moves from side to side in fact it goes all the way round, and it also has very good articulation up and down look at that it goes right down and comes right back up so though they're saying this doll is not well articulated the head of this doll is very well articulated it goes down there a few positions and then back up so the articulation on the head is actually really good which is a bonus so I can't see any marks on her body. I love her swimming costume. It is bright yellow and it's got a sun on the side of it here. On the back, it has a Velcro from her neck right down to just above her bum. That's where it does up. So she comes just wearing this yellow swimsuit and it's got r and h written on it in gold so she has no articulation in her elbows she has no articulation in her hands which means her hands don't come off i actually don't mind that at all to be honest i don't mind that at all she has no articulation in her knees whereas a normal rainbow high doll would she has no articulation in her ankles a normal ra rainbow high doll would. I'm just going to see how far her legs go out. So she can almost do the splits that way. And she can, I think maybe if you took her sewing costume off, she might be able to do the splits that, splits that way. I'm not sure though, actually. She's a bit stiff. She is a bit stiff. Yeah, I reckon she could do the splits. Yeah, she can do the splits, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't, with it being a cheaper doll, I don't want to mess about too much with it. Yeah, I'd say the main thing is this white stuff in her hair. Whether other people have found that when they've opened Sunny. So her feet, her, she has no ankle articulation and her feet are in the high heel position. So you could only put high heels on that doll. Although you do have to change the legs on some of the other rainbow high dolls don't you so her second outfit is basically a extra outfit for the beach which i'm going to get out now 
hopefully I won't have any more accidents. So the second outfit, it looks like it's a little, a little skirt. I'm paranoid now of literally cutting something. I'll try and get that bit out. If I get this out, I think it might be easier to do. So they come in a much smaller box, obviously. They don't come with a stand, which obviously is a disadvantage. In fact, I'd rather these dolls came with no accessories and just came with a stand. I'd be pleased with that. They don't come with a comb, which is fantastic because none of us need any more combs, do we? I have kept all of my combs. I've got them all in a little plastic drawer in front of me. But I certainly don't need any more. I suppose if children are buying, you know, if you're buying these dolls for your child, I suppose they sort of lose stuff like that. So I suppose it's quite good that they get another comb with each doll because they've probably lost the other five combs they've had from the other dolls they've had. You know, I suppose that makes it good. But as a doll collector, you know, we don't want, we don't need any more combs. Look at that bit of hair I cut off. Do you know, I've never done that opening a doll, never. Sorry, Sunny. Right, so as I was saying, these are the accessories. So, yeah, I'm just getting them out like this because I just wasn't confident. Just, so shoes look amazing. I'm excited by the shoes. I often get excited about shoes. Look at these. Look at these. Oh, my word. They are wedges. I love a wedge. And very few Rainbow High dolls wear wedges. Because I said when I opened... Sorry, I just knocked myself. This girl. Oh, no, it wasn't her. It was another doll. can't remember who it was now. But I remember another Rainbow High doll. I remember being surprised that she had a wedge on. So the fact that this girl's got wedges, especially for the beach... You want stilettos on the beach and they are a sandal. They're like a gladiator type sandal, aren't they? And they're in a yellow sparkle. So let's put them on. You can normally tell which foot goes in which with rainbow high dolls. But I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think that's that one. Right, let's put them on because they're lovely. Oh, they went on fantastically, really easily. You can sometimes struggle. They're amazing. I love this doll. I love her. Look at those sandals. I think these dolls for $14.99 are fantastic value. I really do. A lot of people are probably, a lot of other doll collectors are probably going to disagree with me. But I think they are good. So... She's connected, her, her skirt is connected down there. I'm being super careful because I don't want any holes. They do connect these things too much, I think. I don't need to connect them as much as they do. I know they're doing it so that it stays in a certain position in the packet, but I do think they go a bit over the top. So what's that? Oh, what's that for then? Oh, I see. So they don't really come with a second outfit. They just basically come with a sarong. I'm a bit crooked now, haven't I? Straighten myself up. Come on now. Yeah, so they basically come with a sarong. So the sarong is done up with this little plastic tie. And then you obviously... As you can see in the picture, you just tie it, you tie it round basically, which I will endeavour to do. So it comes with a little one of these, which I would keep because they're very handy for doing their hair up because they're clear. So I'm going to keep that. So yeah, it's basically a sarong. So it's a square of fabric, nice fabric. So I'm going to put it round her and see if there's any likelihood that I'm going to be able to do it up. So I don't think there's enough to tie it, to be honest. 
I mean, she's actually got it tied around her neck, hasn't she? I don't really want it around her neck. I'd like it as a proper, you know, a sarong, I think, goes around the waist, doesn't it? So this material could do with being bigger, so it's easier to tie. I have managed to do it, and I've managed to do it like that, and I'm not going to move it. I would really want it to one side, but I've managed to tie it, and I'm going to leave it like that. I suppose what you could do instead of tying it was to get the two bits and wrap that around it. That might be a bit more secure, mightn't it? But it looks like in the pictures that they've tied it, yeah. So I suppose you could put that on afterwards. But it looks okay at the front, doesn't it? Show you at the back. So yeah, they come with a sarong. I didn't realise that because I'm a bit stupid. And they also come with a handbag and some amazing sunglasses. So the handbag is a bit, I don't know, it's not great, is it? You can get things in it that has actually got an opening there. I mean, it's a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Yeah, it's not up to the standard of normal rainbow high handbags, is it? It's just plastic. Cheapo, yeah. And then she comes with these glasses, which are like, they're quite big. And they've got like faux pearls going all around them. And the lenses are orange. So let's see what they look like on. So I'm not that impressed with the bag, but that's fine. Oh, the glasses are nice. Oh, yeah. Wow, look. They really suit her, don't they? Let's get the fringe under there. I don't want a fringe sticking out, not at this stage. They look great on her, don't they? And I love her sandals. Yeah, she looks good, doesn't she? So overall, I think she's well worth fourteen ninety nine. She really is. I love her. And it doesn't actually bother me that much that she's not really articulated. The bag's rubbish. Yeah, I'm not keen on the bag, but the rest of it is really good. Even the sarong looks nice, doesn't it? As I say, I probably would have had it to one side, but I'm not going to undo it. And I wonder if I can move it round. I don't want to undo it and then struggle to do it up again. Oh, I have managed to move it. You're all right. So this material of the sarong is actually quite stretchy. So when you've actually got it on, as I have, I've moved it round and that looks nice, doesn't it? She looks great, doesn't she? Love her. I think the favourite bit about her is these amazing sandals. So, I mean, you know, with a budget range doll, I assumed you'd just get a doll, really, to get some accessories as well is a bonus. I don't mind too much about the lack of articulation and the articulation in her neck and head is really good. So... And it doesn't bother me at all that her hands don't come off. With the other rainbow high dolls, whenever I was dressing them, I would avoid taking their hands off because I was always worried I wouldn't be able to get them back on. I mean, they, they do go back on and I, I have done it and put them back on, but I was always a little bit worried. So, so yeah, she's still, I think she's still a nice quality. And I mean, she's a, she's a good price, isn't she? I mean, this is why I was always going to get these. Once I saw how much they were, I thought, yeah. So there's Sunny. So that is Sunny. Keep forgetting swim and style. I love her. I do love her. The only down thing I would say is probably her bag. And the and it's like she's got dandruff in her hair. It's obviously the clumps of product that are in her hair. But I mean I can try and comb that out, can't I? I love the style of her hair, the way it's shorter at the front and long at the back. I think she's great. So yeah, I, I think they're worth it, definitely. Anyway, it's great to be back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.